In this video, we are going to solve the second problem in IMO 1962. Square root of 3 minus x minus the square root of 1 plus x is greater than a half. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a fairly straightforward inequality. All we have to do is to square both sides. So for left hand side, we're going to have 3 minus x minus 2 times the square root of 3 minus x multiplied by square root of 1 plus x and this ended by 1 plus x and this will be greater than a quarter so we simplify we have 4 minus 2 times square root of 3 minus x times 1 plus x and this will be greater than a quarter now we have 2 times the same square root to be smaller than 15 over 4 after moving the quarter to the other side and moving the square root to the other. Then we can divide both sides by 2 and square it again. So At the end, we'll have this product to be less than 225 over 64. I'm going to expand the brackets and then to make it a quadratic inequality with um, about a more quadratic polynomial, which means the coefficients of x squared is going to be 1. So that means I'm going to have minus 3 minus, uh, it's not minus, it's plus 225 over 64 to be greater than 0. So this polynomial is actually x squared minus 2x plus 33 over 64 is greater than 0. To make things look easier, I'm going to multiply 64 on both sides so that all coefficients are integers. So we have 64 x squared minus 128x plus 33 is greater than 0. Now we can solve with the, with the help of a projectic formula. So the solution is going to be either x larger than 128 plus this is actually the bigger root and the square root of um, 128 squared minus 4 times 64 times 33 divided by 128 or x is going to be smaller than the smaller root which is 128 squared minus 4 times 64 times 33 over 128. And this requires a little um, trick on um, arithmetic. So for the first inequality, I could rewrite the square root term to be in terms of um, not in terms of but the product of 128 times 128 minus 2 times 33. In other words, I'm actually taking out the common factor of 128. Let me explain that a bit. So for this part, notice that 4 times 64 is equal to 256. So this is actually 128 doubled. So now we can see that with a common factor of 128. So we can take it out and the calculations will become easier. So after that, x is greater than 128 plus the square root of 128 times this um, number inside the bracket labeled in yellow 
is actually 62. So I'm going to um, further simplify that. The number inside the square root to be 256 times 31. The reason that I do this is that I can take out this number 256 because it's a perfect squared. So the square root can be simplified to become 128 plus 16 times root 31 over 128. So actually, after simplifying, this inequality is 8 larger than 8 plus root 31 over 8. And similarly, using a similar argument, I can say that the second inequality will be x is less than 8 minus, but not plus, minus, minus 30, root 31 over 8. So, simply by squaring, we can get this as our temporary solution. However, we need to t um, take care of the natural constraints on our original inequality, because sometimes when we square um, it, uh, both sides of an equation of or an inequality, we may create some extra cases that we have to that we might have to reject. Now, recall the inequality is three minus x minus square root of x plus one is greater than a half. So, firstly, x must be um, some number so that um, under the square root sign is well defined, which means these numbers, 3 minus x and x plus 1, must be non-negative. So our first natural constraint is that x must be between minus 1 and 3. So this is going to um, affect our solution a bit. For the, for the lower limit, minus 1, it's going to be applied here, which means x is not simply smaller than that square root, that, that expression, 8 minus root 31 over 8, but it has to be greater than minus 1 at the same time. Furthermore, um, the, upper limit, the upper limit of x is going to affect uh, the other inequality of it, which is that x is not simply greater than that number, 8 plus root 31 over 8, but it has to be at most 3 at the same time. Also, we might have to check uh, whether these two sets of inequalities are both valid solutions. Let's take these as an example, the one circled in light blue. Very um, typical example for x to be uh, falling within this range is the number 2. However, when x is equal to 2, The square root of 3 minus x is actually 1, while the square root of x plus 1 is square root of 3. Now that's weird because um, the difference is supposed to be greater than a half. And in particular, it's the square root of 3 minus x subtracted by the square root of x plus 1. So that means this is supposed to be the larger one. So, um, Something's going wrong here. Another, ne another natural constraint for uh, this inequality to hold is that I should have 3 minus x to be greater than x plus 1, which means x has to be actually smaller than 1. So apparently the, in the inequality circled in light blue cannot hold. This has to be completely rejected. Again, allow me to repeat that. Our second natural constraint, that x is less than 1, is inspired by testing um, the, this set of inequality labeled in light blue by testing some um, examples for uh, values of x to be taken. So what remains is this set of inequality. So our final solution should be x to between minus 1 and 8 minus root 31 over 8 and include minus 1 as well. So this is our final answer.